Yeah, question is that uh, <clears throat> in first case when the application is any, mm-hmm. okay. Yes. So yes. in that yes. case, whether level layer seven inspection will be done or not? Done. Even application is any is still layer seven ins- inspection will be done, but but <coughs> decision like this uh, decision will not be taken on the basis of that layer seven mm-hmm. inspection just for the sake of logging and reporting purpose. Okay, logging and reporting purpose. Reporting purpose, right? No, no decision, right? Mm, no decision, no action. No. Indeed. No action, exactly. No action. No, nothing like it to allow or to deny. Mm-hmm. Mm. But yes, layer okay. seven inspection will be done here. Only okay. to avoid layer seven inspection is like uh, there is a policy here in Palo Alto Firewall, which is known as application override policy. Mm. So it's the only way to uh, you know like to avoid uh, uh, this layer seven inspection. But that is not so, needed because logging reporting is mandatory. Uh, exactly. So uh, and uh, that, that's the only way like if this Palo Alto firewall works, or uh, and that's perfect way in fact even. But okay. yes, uh, we'll slow down the process. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But here, if uh, I, I talk about this option number B, here scenario is something different. Under application section, web browser, SSL, and DNS. So primarily, service port number is checked. Whether these applications are using default port or not that, that's the very first criteria right and let's say if it matches here port mm-hmm. uh, address matches then palo alto firewall goes to layer 7 layer 7 header opens layer 7 header and uh, try to identify the application now the most confusing part here is even though i have allowed web browser which is a standard port HTTP. I have allowed here SSL, which is HTTPS and DNS, right? But that doesn't mean all HTTP and HTTPS based application will be allowed. No, even both are allowed HTTP, HTTPS. And if I try to open here google.com or maybe uh, facebook.com, so mm-hmm. I will not be able to open this uh, like uh, or to access this application google.com or Facebook or Gmail or any other application even though they all use HTTPS mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. now what's the catch here in fact <laughs> yeah, is, is something very confusing in Palo Alto firewall because first impression is what like if I have allowed web browser and SSL that means all HTTP HTTPS based applications must be allowed but in contrary to that, even I have allowed HTTP and HTTPS both. In spite of doing that, only <coughs> applications, those applications for which Palo Alto firewall doesn't have signature, will be allowed only. Means, ye karne ke baad bhi Palo Alto firewall, sirf or sirf, unhi applications ko allow kar raha hai. This Palo Alto firewall. Own applications ko allow kar raha, signature iske paas nahi hai. So let's say Palo Alto firewall has signature of approximately 2800 applications. So 2800 applications must be explicitly allowed. So just like web browser SSL will not guarantee that uh, like uh, 2800 applications are maybe uh, Total applications, let's say 2800 out of that, let's say uh, 2000 HTTP or HTTPS based application, uh, REST 800, some different protocols based. But who <coughs> are applications? Nahi access kar paenge hum log. Main dobara repeat karta this point ko because it's very important and it's very confusing here. And that is, ye enable karne ke baazud bhi. Hum log wo applications nahi access kar paenge for that like Palo Alto firewall has signature. So, lekin wo sare applications HTTP and HTTPS bas hum log access kar paenge jiske jiska signature nahi hoga Palo Alto firewall ke pas. Jis jis jo application listed nahi yaha pe. For example, I would be able to open Cisco.com because Palo Alto firewall does not have signature for Cisco.com. Uh, I, I can open Redip.com because there is no signature here in Palo Alto firewall database. But at the same time, 
I, I will not be open to this uh, Facebook because Palo Alto Firewall does have signature for Facebook.com. So what it, it expects that Facebook must be explicitly allowed under this application section. If let me put this policy in different way. Now at the same time, let's say I have allowed DNS application and just Facebook or Facebook base and Google. Up now Facebook and Google, they both use HTTPS. But I have allowed just DNS, Facebook, Google under application section. Now what will happen? Palo Alto Firewall will implicitly allow HTTPS only for these two applications. So th there is no need to allow HTTPS here while in Facebook and Google. Even we understand that HTTPS is underlying protocol for both the applications. They both are HTTPS based applications. So HTTPS must be allowed uh, in security policy. But if even we do not allow HTTPS, so still uh, there is no problem whatsoever because ye implicitly ho jata allowed. Lekin, is me sirf or sirf a Facebook chala paoge and Google and of course DNS. No other applications. Or agar mein ye wali baat kar raho, web browser, SSL and DNS. So I'd be able to access HTTPS based application, HTTPS based application, but sirf wo applications jiska signature Palo Alto firewall ke database mein hai. Uh, confusion abhi bhi hoga, I believe to put a question here because yeah, yeah, it's, it's very confusing part. Mm. Very confusing part, no doubt. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay, let's say um, mm -hmm. I want to allow the Facebook.com uh, and uh, Google.com. As you okay. said, if I define these two applications into mm -hmm. the application section, application section. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so these uh, then HTTPS will be allowed automatically, but only for Google and, and Facebook. Facebook.com. Correct. So that, Correct. that is understood. That is understood. Yes. Without because okay. without <coughs> without allowing mm. that implicitly or explicitly, it cannot work. Okay. Exactly. That is good. Okay. Mm. Because mm. I have defined a specific application, so HTTPS mm. for these two mm. applications only will be allowed. That is the yes. that is the thing, right? That is yes. one. Second, coming <coughs> to this application, you can correct me if I am uh, wrong. Mm. Mm. When we allow web browser SSL or DNS, so mm -hmm. Palo Alto will allow those applications only, which for which it doesn't have any signatures into, right? Correct, correct. Because if it has signature, so what it it uh, Palo Alto firewall expects that those applications must be explicitly allowed, right? Okay. So, so basically, what happens? The uh, let's say uh, I have opened here. Uh, Cisco.com. Uh, my request uh, reaches here on Palo Alto Firewall interface. Palo Alto Firewall uh, just uh, opens uh, layer 3 header, layer 4 header. Under layer 4 header, it finds HTTP, uh, sorry, TCP port number 443. Uh, it opens layer 7 header, right? And uh, since uh, it doesn't have signature for Cisco.com, so, but since protocol is TCP 443, so this application or maybe uh, cisco.com will be identified as a standard SSL application. Even in logging, what we will find that SSL application. Cisco.com is a standard SSL application. Okay. As a whole, so, right? No, 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 no. That, that is very clear now. I tell you how. Uh, the What you said is very um, precise that follow Alto Palo Alto says that if applications, if it has the signatures for the applications, that application must be explicitly defined in application mm. section, right? Mm, correct, correct. So if it doesn't have signatures, go with the applications, uh, you know, in common like web browser, or SSL, or DNS. This mm. is how, right? Yes, yes, correct. All right. Correct. <laughs> All right. So that, that's the point, and uh, 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 and. Another important point here is, let me put it. Hello? Another important point is, now let's say uh, under this application section, 
I want to allow DNS and just Facebook base and Google, suppose. Hmm. Okay, so what happens now? <clears throat> uh, let's say the client machine, which is right here like in, in inside zone, and uh, it's my outside zone, goes to internet, and it's my firewall. All right, it's client. Okay, so I want to allow just Facebook base and Google. It means no Facebook chat, no Facebook uh, video upload or etc. All micro or sub applications must be denied. Only Facebook base should be allowed. So what happens? Let's say client machine. He types in here Facebook.com. Here a request aya. And of course, ki Facebook game or Facebook chat, ye sab Facebook base ke andar hai tarike se, right? So <coughs> now, this client request to uh, access Facebook.com will be allowed. And once it is allowed, then at the same time, let's say you want to chat with, uh, with uh, 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 any contact like from your list. So this Palo Alto firewall will not be able to control uh, Facebook chat then. Chum? Even though we have not allowed policy in the policy Facebook chat, ko, only Facebook base is allowed, not Facebook chat. But then what will happen to us is that we will have Facebook chat or Facebook game. Wo sab kuch kar because of the reason, this client will establish a tunnel, SSL tunnel with the Facebook.com and once tunnel is established then what is being sent inside the tunnel all traffic will be encrypted and since Palo Alto firewall uh, will not have any uh, like decryption key here to decrypt the traffic so we'll not be able to uh, uh, figure it out like whether it's a Facebook chat or game or what uh, kind of micro or sub application this client is using from here it means even though I have specified just to allow Facebook base, but in reality, in practical scenario, what will happen? This particular client or user will be able to uh, open or access or utilize all Facebook sub or micro applications. And this will happen because of the reason that there is end to end tunnel. Tunnel will be established between client and server. And once tunnel is established, so uh, <coughs> Palo Alto firewall cannot apply his signature because signature apply करने के लिए उसको चाहिए होगा decrypted data वो नहीं होगा तो इसका solution क्या फिर so for that we need to apply another policy that is SSL decryption policy and I will discuss later on about this SSL decryption policy SSL decryption policy 